Hello students, I hope you all are doing great. So today I am here to take up the new chapter in your value education books, chapter number 10, Unity, the feeling of oneness. So before starting the chapter or before starting the topic, I just want to read out the golden words which are written on the board and then I am going to explain you this topic, okay. So, I can do things you cannot. You can do things I cannot. Together we can do great things. So, is this, this sentence means I can do things you cannot. Means everybody is not perfect. You are good at writing, I, can, I am good at drawing. You are good at dancing, I am good at singing. So, means everybody is gifted with a different talent. So, we cannot be same. We cannot be same like everyone, right? You can do things I cannot. That's what I told you that you can dance, I cannot dance. So, that's what, that, that depends on your talent. Together we can do great things, but if we need to work together in a group, if we work together like one person, one unit, then we can do great things, we can do good things, right? Our work will be perfect. If suppose somebody is good at singing, I am good at singing, together we can perform, right? So it will be like a great work, together we did it. So everybody is gifted with one or the other talents, you need to utilize it and make it one and work in a group and then unity is a feeling of oneness. So when, I, when you are united, you can achieve good things in life. So yes, now modern factors you see, unity gives strength, it brings joy and happiness in life. Yes, when we work in a group, when we work together, we can uh, get joy, uh, joy of satisfaction, happiness in life. Why we get happiness? Because our work will be perfect. If we, if we won't work together, if we won't have cordial relations uh, with our companions and we will be jealous of others and we won't be able to work together in a group and we won't be able to satisfy our, we won't be able to satisfy our own self and our work will not be perfect, right? Now you see the other point and practice, unite yourself with others, understand and make others understand. United we stand, divided we fall. Yes, we should not be jealous of others. Rather, we should utilize their talents and work together in a group because united we stand, divided we fall. Because if we work in a group, we can achieve success. If we won't work in a group and if we'll have some hatred feeling or some jealousy kind of feeling towards others, then we will not be able to work in a group. We will not be able to work together and then we will not be able to achieve success in life, success in any kind of work. So, united we stand, divided we fall. Like football players, they work in a team, then only they get victory, right? If, we, if they'll perform for their own self, do you think that they'll be able to win? No, they won't be able to win, even in the match also. Players, they work together, right? Then only they win the competition or win the match. Otherwise, they won't be able to win the match, match if they'll perform for their own self. So, we need to work in a team when we are playing together. So now I'm going to read from the book and then I'm going to explain you all. Unity is a feeling of oneness. It relates to collective strength rather than individual strength. It is a situation where the words like I and my are replaced by the words like we and us. As children, you should always remember that united we stand and divided we fall. So that's what I've explained you just now that unity is a feeling of oneness when we are united. When we work together in a group that makes us one, then we don't think about our own self, rather we think as a team, as a group we think. We think about each and every one. So unity is a feeling of oneness because we think and act like one person, one team, one group. It relates to collective strength rather than individual strength. Collective strength means strength of each one of us. When we work in a team, when we work in a group, each one of us give our hundred percent. Each of each one of our strength has to be taken in consideration rather than single or individual strength. So that when we work together in a group, we need to work for everyone. We need to listen to everyone. We need to implement everybody's ideas, everybody's decisions. Then only we can work together in a group. It is a situation where the words like I and my are replaced by the words like we and us. Yes. You cannot say I did well. You cannot, you, cannot, you cannot say my work has been appreciated. No. When you are playing in a group, when you are working in a group or working in a team, you need to say we worked hard. We did well. We did our best. So it's like I and me so shows your superiority complex. So you should never mention I and my work. 
you should always say we and us that shows that you respect each one of us in the group and you admire each one of each, each one of us uh, each one of their work so each one of has to, each one of uh, the group members has to be appreciated has to be admired as children you should always remember that united we stand and divided we fall yes so as children means like you all are children right now so you all should always remember that unity is a strength unity is a feeling of oneness united we stand divided we fall if you are playing as a team you need to work as a team uh, as a team you cannot think individually you cannot work individually you cannot play for your own self rather you need to represent your group you need to represent your team you need to represent your uh, what we say country also because you see uh, matches uh, indian matches the team they play for their country so they represent their country so if you play uh, from your district you represent your district you represent your city so like teams go out and play right so i am talking about uh, talking on that basis when they go out for play so they represent their country they represent the city they represent the district so you need to think like that think like that that i am representing my group i am representing a uh, group efforts rather my own effort so you need not to think about yourself rather you need to think about the whole group so that's what i am just explaining you that what is unity unity is a feeling of oneness that when we act together in a group when we work together in a group without having any kind of uh, hatred or jealousy towards uh, your members towards your companions then you uh, then you can develop this uh, feeling that you are working in a group and you need to work in uh, in a unity and then only you can achieve success in life so i hope you have understood that what does unity means unity means work in a group and respect each member of your group and then achieve you can achieve success if you will think individually you won't be able to achieve success in a group if you are working as a group and you have to think about everyone so yes i hope you have understood this uh, topic uh, rest the next part i'm going to explain in the next video i mean the story is given in the book so the story i'll explain in the next video but for today only this much is there so thank you and have a nice day